I was just reading some comments this morning, and I love it. I'm glad you guys pay attention to what's going on, so you keep things in check for us. But one of the comments was on the 4840 John Deere tractor, what is this strap on the tire for? Well, this is a bungee strap, the dual tire right here. We took it off of the tractor, we stuck it back on, but we absolutely have no bolts holding that tire on. So this tire will actually sit here and move. This bungee strap is hooked to the door on the tractor to hold the tire so it doesn't fall off and hit somebody. It's for safety reasons. All right, all right. The truth is we've been putting monitors. I shouldn't say we. Cooper's been putting monitors in the tractor, getting things set up. Our door, it doesn't stay all the way open. It wants to prop open so far. So we got the bungee strap on it to the tire just to hold the door open all the way so when you're getting in and out, it's not in the way. But way to pay attention. I love it. Thank you so much. It's darn right chilly out here. We're getting a light snow again. Ain't hardly a mountain to diddly. Cooper and me, we're going to work on the corn head, I guess. We got some, we got to put a shaft in. So we're going to work on that. We'll put you on fast forward. Come on in the shop, warmer in here. Come along, we'll see, we gotta find Cooper. Where's Cooper? I guess he's not here yet, but he'll be coming along. We had to get two seals, these little buggers right here, two of them, $117 for two of them. Wow. Some of these prices are getting to be crazy. Okay, we're gonna start putting things together. We'll put you on fast forward to let you come along for the ride. If Cooper goofs up and if it's on fast forward or if I goof up, you won't hear him yelling at me. But you might see me throw a wrench at him. Ready, Coop? Yep. Right now, Cooper and I, or tearing a, a little gearbox on the corn head. It's leaking some oil and we're trying to replace some seals and we really don't know how it goes apart. So we're trying to figure some things out before we tear it completely apart. So wish us luck. Here's the little box where we're gonna be working on the seals right here, leaking oil. Okay, trying to find a charger for my phone because it's about dead. And by the time we get video in, the phone will die. Anyhow, me and Cooper, we just got the gearbox bushings, seals put in. These were the old ones and they were leaking 90 weight oil out around the shaft. It's no good to have a leak around your shaft. So now we got that fixed. I'm gonna bring over and set up for fast forward. You can watch us putting her back together. What we're going to do now on the corn head, I don't know, maybe Coop's got one here apart and he can show you what he's got going. How's it going, Coop? Going. We thought we about had the corn head done and then we found a few things we need to do just for preventing maintenance so it'll be ready for next year. Okay, he'll kind of show you what he's got going here. Taking these collars off because they get full of dirt. You can tell, so then the springs don't act as they should when they're full and then they can bust. So we're cleaning them out and then we'll put them back together. Inside these here, there's a spring. So when these gathering chains here, where the corn goes up into the row, I don't know if you can see it very easy, but this end right in here will go up in. This little spring helps it move all day long and keep tension on that. But when it gets so full of mud and everything, the spring can't release and tension. So we just take her apart to clean her up. It don't take long, but it's just time consuming. All right, we'll put you on fast forward. Cooper's underneath the corn head. Pumping grease up, and then I'm watching up here in this hole. When the gearbox gets full, the grease will come out up here. It usually takes about a tube, tube and a half, per row and we have eight rows on this machine to fill. Let's do a quick recap of what we got done today. First thing this morning, I ran over and had a uh, burial 
to cover up. So we got that taken care of. That was a little bit slippery in the snow and stuff, but we got the grave taken care of. And then after that, I stopped at a neighbor's, had to feed some goats. And while I was there, I went ahead and cleaned out their driveway. It was had snow in it and stuff. So I cleaned out their driveway with our skid loader. And then I went to Cole's house. He made us lunch today. We ate lunch and then I came down here and when Cooper got home from school, we tore into the corn head. We got every one of the gearboxes full on the corn head. So we got it full. He did all the hard work on that. So I give him the biggest credit. It was dirty, yucky and messy, but he got them all full. And then we tore a little old gearbox off on the side of the combine that had a seal that was leaking 90 weight and making a mess on the floor. So between me and Cooper, we got that tore apart and we got it fed. It's about 8, 8.15 and we just decided, you know what, let's just call it quits for the night. So I'm going to put a few tools away. I'm not going to worry about too much of the mess. And we're going to call it quits because I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Oh. And somebody sent me some potato chips in the mail, a whole bunch of Heinz ketchup potato chips. So I'm going to try them tonight. <coughs> hey there, everybody. I woke up this morning and I just feel like a train ran me over. My body is sore. I kept having a dream last night about a muffler. I am just plain exhausted this morning. I think we're actually gonna get some work done today. At least I hope. Here's what we need to do. We need to take this wagon right here. We need to push it over that auger. That way we can get our auger assembly set up here to transfer more corn into the hopper bottom. Ronnie and Parker have been taking a lot of loads out of here lately and this bin's getting almost empty. We got everything all ready to go here on the augers. So now all we gotta do is flip a switch on and then we'll be pulling corn out of the big bin. Now we need to move some stuff out of the big machine shed so that way we can get some things that are in here down into the main heated shop and things that are in the main heated shop into here. We got the white Volvo down here to the main heated shop now. It really didn't get too muddy on the drive over here. It's 33 degrees right now, so the roads are just starting to melt. On this trailer, we need to take this assembly off here and we need to replace the bearing that's on this side and the other side for the traps here, so that way they open easy. I should clarify, we need to do it for the front one and the back one. And then Cooper and I are gonna hop up under here with some grinders and the welder and we noticed a couple cracks starting in the frame here so we're gonna grind some stuff out and then weld in some reinforcements. Don't worry guys, I will be power washing the mud that came from the road off before we pull it into the shop. Nothing worse than working on a dirty piece of equipment. In the shop here, Cooper got the lights done last night. We put in new trap bearings on this trailer, so these open really easy now. Last year, Dad and I did some work on the frame on this one, so this trailer is ready to go. We're gonna back this semi-trailer out of here, then pull the white Volvo up to the door. We're gonna blast that mud off quick with the power washer. Then we'll pull the white Volvo in here but before we do that, we're going to get the 7140 out of this corner because the red Volvo is going to go where the 7140 is at and the 7140 is going to go over to the main farm. Of course, the millennial farmer stops by for two hours and we have a dead battery in the semi. The Freightliner here is not filling up with air. Now one of the reasons why the Freightliner needed to come back here is because air is getting blown back up through the little buttons you push to release the brakes. I think there's a brake chamber that's bad which is causing back pressure to come back up that. But I need to figure out how to 
figure out which one it is because I've never done that before. So right now, this semi is stuck in here until we can get that fixed. I didn't want the 7140 getting all muddy driving it down the road, so we're going 4.6, 4.7 miles an hour right now. And we're trying to get over there. I'm doing a pretty good job so far. At 4.7 miles an hour, it only took me 35 minutes to get here. Okay, let's take the red Volvo for a little spin. This is kind of heartbreaking, guys. I had this truck spotless and just driving it two and a half miles down the road, look what it's done. At least the trailer is not on it because washing the semi itself isn't difficult. It's when the trailer's on there, that's when it's difficult. But work needs to be done, so we needed to get it moved. All right, so you guys remember how we pulled the red Volvo in the shop there just a little bit ago and it got all muddy because we had to drive it over here on the muddy roads. Well, we got another change of plans. We're gonna be bringing it back to the main shop now. So we're gonna get it muddy again. And then Cooper got the freight liner going now, I guess. So we're gonna bring that over here, swap trailers in the big machine shed, and bring that back home as well. Let's see what kind of mess we can make. Okay, well, for some reason, 2745 is not wanting to start. It's turning over, but it's not turning over the fastest. Let me put the battery charger on. So we give it a little boost. We can't get semi in here when this is in the way. Black to red and red to black. Thing with the semi, they have so many wheels, the weight is just spread out so much when they're empty that you get on a little bit of slippery stuff like this. They just spin. So as he's backing up here, he's looking for these little rock pockets so that way he can get some traction. He's only got to get from there to the concrete. And once he's on the concrete, he'll be 100% fine. But this 100 feet he's got to go could be a challenge. Let's watch. He missed the door by 10 feet. Look at him spin. Yeehaw! We get a run for it again. Here he comes for round two. Let's see how he does. So far, so good. He's got good speed. Got the back wheels in. Let's see how he's doing on his blind side. We're good, keep going. Straighten her out. Boy, Coop. Already got that one done. Feels like we've done quite a bit of stuff today, but we really haven't done that much because we've just been swapping equipment around and sometimes you just gotta spend a day to do that. Now we got everything in here that we can work on. Now we have a whole fresh fleet of semi trailers that we can work on. We can also work on this semi, this semi, this tractor, the combine, and the sprayer. This is the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, write it down in the comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free and it notifies you when I post new videos. So if you like what you see here and you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.